What's up guys and welcome to players you need to invest in right now and before we do get into the video if you haven't already subscribe and like the video also comment down below any other investments you're making for team of the season but the first investment I'm going to make for team of the season is a uh, team of the knockout stage cards for example then donker team of the C team of the knockout stage is 15k he's 15k for an 86 rated player with incredible stats He's also Belgium as well that does help um, because he may be included in potential player of the month as in Benteke which will drive his price up a little bit as well. Um, another one is Cabral as well. Uh, he's another one. Uh, also 85 rated team of the knockout stage card. There's not a lot of him on the market but he is, uh, he is around 15k as well. He is 15k. <laughs> And the last one is Hugo Mayo as well. And uh, again, 15k for this card. It's not even a bad, bad card. Um, and it, again, he's 15k as well. Um, and these might be good, as you can see with the Kante, these might be good for like a full inform or a full special team in the future for Team of the Season SBCs. The next thing that you should be investing in is player of the month and the front runner is Humming Son with five goals and one assist and he is actually Korean so Koreans are good to invest in Korea Republic not South Korea not North Korea that would be even worse um, but you probably want to look at maybe Silver's probably I'd say Silver's very very low risk this investment and could make a ton a ton of coins the other thing for player of the month is the teams he has scored against and those are Watford Bournemouth Swansea and Burnley so all of those clubs you probably might want to get the lower end ones such as Prodal and Holebas um, probably non rares as well um, very low risk again and the last thing would be his former clubs and they are Leverkusen and Hamburger as well. Saul, his his youth club. You may you never know. They you might require some youth club players, as in Saul players, um, onto the third investment. Third thing you do want to be investing in is potential league SBCs, and Hyundai A League is one of those. I think for now, Rolly, I think is gonna probably is gonna win that. He is gonna win, and you want to be looking out for Silvers. Uh, here just from all, all the clubs obviously and if you do buy the silvers don't sell them instantly because look what happened with Bournemouth for instance but Cargill and uh, who's the other one Steve Cook went up to sort of 20 21k and a week ago you could sell them for 5k and you could buy them for 5k so that dramatically rose the price and silvers don't go down but they can go up that's the problem that's why you hold on to those silvers um, until they, you're you're happy with the profit and uh, 20k. Obviously, you're going to be happy with the profit. Into the fourth and final investment, and my final investment tip for today is discard silver man of the match cards, and one of them is Callum McGregor from Celtic. And as you can see, he's very very cheap. That 7.2k is his min price, and I think he discards probably for 7.1, 7.2, and um. As you can see, they're such cheap cards, and 7.8 is the cheapest I've seen. And you think about, you're going to lose max 500 coins. Max 500 coins, you can buy like 10 of these, and max lose uh, 5k coins. That's not a lot of coins, if you've got a lot of coins already, that is. But if you don't want to score, store all your coins in the bank, just store all your coins in these Man of the Match cards, to be honest. Because come team this season, you might need man of the match cards for an SBC. These players skyrocket in price and you've made yourself another 100, 200k. Another two man of the match cards that I would invest in are Jolinton and Pelkas. A uh, Greek and a um, Brazilian there. However, that is going to be about it from me. Goodbye.